Hello and welcome. This week I'm going a little bit off topic because we have a summer solstice coming up and we also had a big beautiful strawberry moon just a couple of nights ago. So I wanted to share a little bit more about what these things mean and then we'll get back on track with mindfulness for next week. So summer has almost arrived. <laughs> In my part of the world, it still feels quite cool and I don't know really what's going on. It's been a little bit of a funny spring and it's not been normal. But keeping my fingers crossed that uh, summer actually will arrive soon. And this time of year can be quite busy, as I mentioned, with the strawberry moon and the solstice. and. It's a time of year when we can really go into stillness and just appreciate how the sun and the solstice stands still on June 21st. And I'll, I'll share a little bit more about that. But I'm just gonna talk a little bit more about the full moon that was the strawberry moon. And it was a super moon where the moon is closer to the earth, making her appear larger brighter and more intense than just a regular full moon. And at the haiku that I wrote this week, I, or for this week, I actually wrote it a couple of years ago and you'll get to hear that towards the end of the video. And it's one of my favorites and it's very fitting for this time uh, of the year. And in, when you hear it in your mind's eye, you can see the moon and you can get a taste of what is coming in the months ahead. And it's just a, a perfect representation of, of summer strawberries. And strawberries are bursting with color, flavor, and just that beautiful sweetness. And did you know that every month the moon has a different name? And the strawberry moon got its name because when it's closest to the earth, it picks up the colors from the horizon and it gives that a slightly reddish tinge. And then going into next week on June 21st, we have the summer solstice. And this marks the longest day of the year. And it's a time to celebrate all of the ripening, fruiting and flowering that is around us. Mother Nature is doing its thing and it's just everything's just coming alive. And it marks a time of celebration and of honoring the light and our connection that we have with the sun and the earth. And it's a special day when the sun is actually at its highest point in the sky for the year. In fact, in Latin, solstice means sun standing still and it's a day that has been celebrated since ancient times and it's one of the earliest astronomical observations in human history so you can see that there's a lot of special things that are going on more with the earth and the stars and the sky and a new season so are you ready for the summer season Strawberry moon, the first taste of summer stained on her lip. Strawberry moon, the first taste of summer stained on her lip. If you would like to learn more about Everyday Haiku, click on the link below subscribe to my YouTube channel, and please sign up for my free weekly newsletter for a haiku inspiration that these videos are based on. You can sign up on my website that is in the link below. And I will post another video next week, so I will see you then.